the healthcare system is being crushed by the weight and burden of chronic diseases. And this generation of children, there is the possibility that they may live fewer years than my generation. My name is David Ma, and I'm the director of the Guelph Family Health Study. We're a multidisciplinary group looking at the problems from all the different angles so that we can come up with the best solutions for our families. My name is Jess Haynes, and I'm the co-director of the Guelph Family Health Study. We are testing strategies that help families with young children establish healthy eating, activity, and sleep habits early in life so that they can reduce the burden of chronic disease, both for the society as a whole, as well as an individual level. We currently have about 300 families with the goal of getting up to 1,000 families that we are going to follow over 20 years. And what we found is Canadians are only getting about a quarter of their fruits and, and fiber intake. The real engine that runs the Guelph Family Health Study are our students. Our goal is to train the next generation of health professionals and leaders uh, that will carry our work forward. Back in 2007, we started experiencing much higher colony losses than we had previously had, to where they're averaging 35% annually. That loss of colonies, not in a single country, in all of North America and most of Europe. That's worrisome. My name's Paul Kelly. I'm the research and apiary manager at the Honey Bee Research Center. I'm Ernesto Guzman. I'm the director of the Honey Bee Research Center and the Pinching Family Chair in Honey Bee Health. Modern agriculture is entirely dependent on honeybees. What other animal species produces one third of the food we consume. There's no question that honeybees are the most valuable insects to the humankind. The new facility will give us much more opportunity for public engagement. We'll have a visitor center and when we teach courses we'd be able to increase the colony numbers but still have hands-on beekeeping experiences. The new facility will show that the University of Wealth, Ontario and Canada are leading honeybee research. The Lang School of Business is a place where we develop sustainable business leaders for a better world and a better tomorrow. My name is Danielle Till and I'm a fifth year Bachelor of Commerce student studying at the Lang School of Business. So I've been involved with the Lang Student Association for four years now and this year we thought we'd take a step further, rename the conference and turn it into an intensive three-day conference where we could connect students from all across Canada. We wanted to represent the triple bottom line in a full weekend perspective. At the end of the weekend, the students were able to test their knowledge and bring together their previous experience in a case competition setting. Move with the changing values and mindsets of consumers is going to be pivotal in the growth of business now and the sustainability of the business in the future. I really plan on carrying forward and bringing the CSR values as well as the overall principles of the Lang School of Business into my next chapter. Suddenly a, a lump appeared on his head. It was like a half a golf ball. It was a very rare form of cancer. Hi, I'm Chris Topowski. I'm Murphy's mom, who's a patient at Ontario Veterinary College. Murphy came to me in 2013. He was a rescue, my vet. Uh, he brought his dog up here for cancer treatment and he said, you know, they're doing a lot of innovative things up there. They did some wonderful things for my dog. This is where you need to go. My name is Dr. Michelle Oblak and I am the Animal Health Partners Chair of Veterinary Medical Innovation at the University of Guelph. And no one else has actually done a printed skull plate. Having access to this technology is really amazing because we can do things we could never do before. In Murphy's case, I could sit down with Chris and I could show her this skull and I could say, look, this is what we see on the surface. This is what is going on underneath. And this is how we're gonna do the surgery. This could be something that could work and that's really what convinced me. We had the tumor removed and all of that was done both virtually and on the model and we were able to have a plate printed. He's back to barking at everything and running around his yard and doing his typical Murphy things. You would never know, it's astounding. It's miraculous, really.